Hello, hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're on my channel, I'm Akanksha. Welcome to the channel which has long as intros and long as videos and we do shit, we review makeup, we review everything. And um, I, I, I swear to God, I just didn't like wake up and this is not my bed here i tried to set it but it's so oily today and i used like a little bit of dry shampoo and i tried to do something but uh, this is where we are at so ignore my hair my hair is basically not my strongest suit today uh, but that is not the topic anyways and today i hope you read the title already today we are trying out Ha, now Mama Earth finally even has a foundation. I mean, what product does it not have at this point? So Mama Earth launched their Gross Serum Skin Foundation. This is how the outer package looks like. And this retails for rupees 599. So listen, we can have whatever opinion we want to have about this brand. But um, one thing which is like extreme red flag and why I hate. Hate is probably a wrong word, but I don't like... Uh, what do you say associate with the brand or I don't like you know use the products because of their uh, you know non-disclosing factor like right on the carton no matter which foundation what product everything has ingredients on the carton like for sure and mama earth does not have it i want to know what is there in this foundation except for vitamin c and turmeric which i honestly don't think i care for in my foundation i want to know what is there is there fragrance does it going to increase is there like you know wh what is there i want to know what is there in my foundation is going to clog my pores it's going to do what uh, but right off the back literally nothing no ingredients on the packaging just the directions and the price and the claims that provides perfect coverage so that volume in skin don't be wasted blah 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 12 hours stay made safe i mean what am i going to do with this if you do not give me like the original ingredients of the foundation you know so i'm going to keep all my opinions inside and just try the product for what it is and give you my honest uh, uh, opinion because if it does work it's just 599 so it's a good option and affordable option so let's get started So this is how the bottle looks. So again, nothing on the packaging except that it's a glow serum foundation, which means C. So it says glow serum. I'm so I'm expecting it to be um, glowy. I have the shade six almond glow. They totally just have seven shades, which is again a bummer. Mama Earth is such a huge brand. Okay, like such a huge brand. They have such a market value and. I understand if like smaller brands or low budget brands kind of come out with like five, six shades because it does cost a lot to come up with multiple different shades. But Mama Earth can definitely, definitely put out more shades out there. If they have the money, they can do it if they want to. So it just sucks that they chose not to and just give seven shades, which honestly will not be enough for all the Indian uh, skin tones. I don't know what they were trying to do. But anyways, they do say um, it is uh, 2x instant glow, vagera vagera, provides perfect cover. So anyway, I'm going to go in and so that is the shade 6 almond glow which kind of does seem light on me so imagine lighter on me meaning there's just like one shade after this and it's done so deeper skin tone just forget about it I'm not going to find your shade in this uh, so I'm going to compare this with my NC40 just so you have the reference of the shade I'm an NC40 in MAC and that is NC40 NC40 is definitely way warmer then next I'm swatching my NARS. This is my NARS in Aruba. And finally we also have Maybelline and this is in the shade 310 from Fit Me. Those are the three shades definitely uh, lighter than all the three shades which are actually a match for me. Now I'm just going to apply it on the... I just I, I felt like the next shade is a little too dark so I went in with this one. I probably should have gone with the last one uh, seeing that there are just seven shades but anyways let's just make this work. Right side brush, left side sponge, you know the drill. So first layer is on, it definitely 
um, is it lighter you can come see like compared to this side my skin looks lighter on this side so not my shade maybe the next shade but the next shade just genuinely looked very dark so this should work maybe this can work for me like especially when I'm not tan because it's somehow I'm a little more tan than what I would be so like this could be a winter shade but it did blend out beautifully uh, into the skin it clinged on to few dry patches but I have a little bit dryness going on on my um, face it did blend out into the skin well I just want to add a little more uh, it's definitely not um, you know medium coverage it's very like sheer coverage skin tint kind of situation but if you layer it up it does cover your acne scars like you can see just now it did Okay, definitely applies a lot nicer with this band. I don't know, maybe the wetness of it works with the formula more well compared to the brush, but definitely works way well. This side looks more nicer and more blended out. Does not cover the blemishes even in the second layer. So it's like a very skin-like uh, uh, finish. So the website does have ingredient uh, List, but still I mean the packaging should have it because not everybody is going to go on the website and like you know check it out so definitely not a matte foundation it's um, glowy not like but bad glowy and it's too much it's definitely uh, manageable if it does not get more bad than this so I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup I'm just going to do something simple here and there and then we'll be back to see how it looks after a few hours so this is the finished look and it looks like I did something full glam, right? Like full coverage foundation and kind. But I just use like concealer and blush and highlighter and I'm done. And so far, so good. Let's see how it looks and there's few hours down the lane for now. Decent enough. I'll see you in a few hours. Okay, all right. A few hours later, it's been five hours that I put the foundation on. I got done doing my makeup at four o'clock. It's nine o'clock now. So it's been around like four and a half, five hours that my makeup is on. So the foundation is getting oily around this area. A little more oily than my other foundation would but it says it's a glow serum so i did expect it to get a lot more oilier but it is still not this is my kind of manageable you can just go over with my like you know powder brush and just tap on it and it's you know immediately get toned down so but that is not um the issue coming to the finish of the foundation it is um, i can definitely like you know their foundations which like blend into your skin and you can definitely not tell that there is foundation but there are some who just kind of sit on your skin a little bit like this one is like kind of blended but i can still see it like sitting on the skin and i have a little bit of dry like skin here so it did cling on to it a little bit now every time i say it i'm like you need to wear a primer and prep your skin with moisturizer before you use foundation honey just because I didn't show it does not mean I did not do it. I prepped my skin like I prepped for all the foundations. But they did cling on to a little bit of dry uh, patch. By itself, it does not kind do much. Uh, like, just because I added like concealer, blush and etc. It kind of like, you know, poof makes it look like okay my face is very refreshed so like by itself it's like okay so if you're into minimal makeup then you know you can use this just to like blur out your blemishes or something like a skin tint basically because it does not have like a lot of coverage or anything it's not feel heavy that is great like you don't feel like you're wearing anything on your skin so that's really a uh, nice it is not an amazing one which i've never seen before but it's not like super bad as well it's like in between it's a decent foundation i would definitely use it if i want like a skin tint i do definitely want to try this out more it's not something i'm just cancelling out for the first time it is a decent one i would like to try more i would probably use it as long as i have it if you're looking for something like decent which kind of blurs your uh, blemishes it's lightweight then you can try uh, this one i'm like 50 15 or nothing like too great but nothing like too bad you know there are few products like that so that's what i think about this this video shout out goes to ipsa tandan thank you ipsa for always loving and supporting it absolutely means the world to me if you do want to check the product out i'll link, leave the link in the description you can definitely check it out and that's it for the video if you want to be part of next video shout out then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag aks and you can be a part and i will see you in my next video bye